Okay. Yeah, but there's so much instability here that I feel like I need to go for big cheese. Yeah, like, see, I'm going to play this, which I would never play, by the way. Like, I would never play this normally, but I, I feel like there's just so much instability with these games that, like, you, you just don't know. Like, you don't know what the pairings are going to be, so. Uh, let's go here and target the knight. If there wasn't such instability, I probably would take, um, take more risks or, or play more normally, but there's just no guarantees whatsoever, so. Trying to trap his queen here. This reminds me of a game I played in 1997 in the World Youth Chess Festival. It was against this Mongolian kid, Erding Ganzorg, where like he got his queen trapped in the middle of the board. I don't remember how it got trapped, but he got he got his queen trapped. Uh, let's go back. Fine, I'll just trade and play like rookie one and bishop a3 here. Thank you, Nuret, for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Not sure why. Not sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> Random anecdotes from 1997. Yeah, I don't know if that game's in chess space even, but if it is, I'll, I'll I'll find it after the after the arena. Of course, I I fumbled this completely. Ah, I fumbled this completely. I'm still winning, but I fumbled it completely. Fumbled it. Let's go here. Okay, he's thinking. Hikaru stories turning into Yasser stories? They are, I know. I mean, it's the, exactly. It's like Yasser stories from like the good old days. Let's go here, guard the rook. Uh, that's just a blunder. Okay, good. We're going to get a win. It takes on GG, why not? Did Nate Hill raid or did I miss him? Why is saying join Nate? 